Hi, beautiful Pisces. Welcome to A New Era. My name's Emma. Pisces, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a different read here today. We're going to start with um, this beautiful Wisdom of the Oracle deck and just ask for all good things. When you find this reading, so it's a timeless reading, so whenever you find it and about a month into the future is when this is valid. So just all good things for Pisces. But before we do, I'm going to ask you of a, fav a little favor, to do me a little favor. Um, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, obviously you have to listen to it first. But if you like what you hear, give it a thumbs up because it makes me understand that you actually like what I post so that you resonate with it. If you don't do that, it's really hard for me to understand. Okay, so this works, this sort of direction of what, where I'm going works and this doesn't. And if you never sort of give it a thumbs up, I don't know. And also what helps the channel tremendously is if you subscribe. It's interesting because out of, so let's say it's a, out of 100% of people keep coming back. There's, there's a pot there. There's a, a pot. There's a little group of people that keep coming back listening to these readings. So those people are 100%, right? Out of those people, only 35 has subscribed. So there's 65% coming back every single time that, that I post and watch these videos but hasn't subscribed. And I wonder why. Is it because it's scary to subscribe? Do you think you're going to be seen somewhere? Do, do you just not bother? Like, is it just, mm, you don't want to have too much in your, on your YouTube channel? Like, whatever. It helps me so much, you have no idea. Um, and it also helps the algorithm for YouTube to, to pass the video around if they see that this seems to be interesting. And so that can help someone else to get the message. It helps me to continue to go with the channel. I just wanted some, some sort of like direction here because I'm thinking about like, does it really make a difference if I continue to post these videos? And I've asked this from you guys a couple of times now. And I keep asking because I want to see a shift. I want to see what your response is and make sure you really got the message. Okay. So having that said, we're going to get into your reading. Um, all good things for Pisces. Like I said, it's timeless. So whenever you find this about a month into the future, you're going to get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle and then another couple of cards to go a little bit deeper. And then we're going to have Archangel Michael come out at the end to see if he has something to add with the, to the message. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? All good things. All good things, Pisces. So we have movement, and if you haven't watched me before, I'm waiting for a card to pop out so that I don't interfere with my own energy. Have source pick the cards. There you go. And we want one more. First card out. All that glitters. And usually I would say all that glitters isn't gold, but remember this is all good things. So whatever this is, mask is coming off, gloves are coming off, whatever is being shown to you right now is going to be all good. If you're wondering if something is real, if something is genuine, it is Be, like behind the mask. Can I really trust it? Can I really count on this? Is it what it seems to be? Are they who they say they are? Things like that. The answer to that is yes. It's all good things. If you even have some sort of deceiving situation going on there, that's going to soon pass. Okay, so yeah, that's going to soon pass. So you're turning things around right right now. Whatever has been deceiving or whatever has been like not what it was in the past or someone portrayed themselves to be something that they were not or you thought this was a good opportunity turned out it wasn't or something like that. Either it's a situation where, okay, that thing, that situation is not turning around. Like you're not 
involved in that anymore you're you're slowly but surely walking away from that because next card is between worlds you're leaving it behind and the next card after that is treasure island it's such it's such a beautiful movement here this can also be so the second thing was that it can also be that whatever like in the past so this might have been like a a worry for you like you know i went i i fell for it another time and i'm just not going to fall for it again are they who they say they are behind the mask like is this a real thing behind you know blah 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 yes it is so no matter like it doesn't really matter what angle you come from this is something like you're you're going to come into a real and authentic and genuine place and then as you move on, you're in between worlds. We're going to get another couple of cards. Um, but you're in between worlds. And this is not like you're being stuck, Pisces. This is just moving from one place to another. You're moving away from that. It, it just didn't serve you. And you've, been, you've become very clear about what's genuine and what's not. What is authentic and what is not. What it, What is it that you do not want so it's crystal clear what you do want so it's like moving forward it's really really clear where you're headed right so between worlds it's just okay we're seeing a little bit of the old still with you but you're slowly but surely really moving forward into a next level a next stage next adventure in your life that look that looks we go from gray and black and whatever into technicolor like it's just and so that we eventually come to this treasure island. And there's the turtle. And I know it's a little bit, um, maybe not upsetting, but like a little bit like, oh, can it hurry up, please? With the turtle there. Like I said, it's a, it's a slow, slow and steady progress. And slow and steady wins the race. It's something you've been turning around for a while. It's, it might even like be a, a whole belief system for you. It might be a friend group like you're completely letting go of something old about your life and completely stepping into something new so it's not something that's like done lightly or done over an afternoon or something like that it's like a it's like a shifting like it needs to it needs to process and and shift over time it's what it feels like but the beautiful thing is that you're headed towards treasure island with the riches, the wants, the wishes, the like everything that you ask for is what you're stepping into. So that's really gorgeous. Okay, let's pull another couple of cards. All good things for Pisces, please. So if, if this has been a difficult situation for you, know that it's over. And you probably already see a little bit progress into the new. To venture love love and connection so this for some of you guys this might be like leaving an old um relationship like an ex romantically behind and now sort of step into a real beautiful love relationship okay all good things for pisces please You know what for some of you guys and this is not going to be for every pisces but for some of you guys it might even be that you've chosen how do i say this without offending anyone but like even the person that you're leaving or have left behind maybe even for like a while back you left someone behind and you're sort of still a little bit like with them and because of maybe children maybe comfort zone maybe like whatever it's a little bit easy to sort of hang on to them, to let them just be around, keep them around for, for the heck of it. And they're not bad, but it's not for sure not where you're going to grow. So it can also be that you're like really deciding that some things are just, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, below your pay grade. Like, 
you need something higher. You need something to match your own energy. And it feels like you're being selling yourself short. Like you're, you're allowed to wish for what you want. Does that make sense? Like you're allowed to, like I said, it doesn't dumb the person down that you've been with. It doesn't make the person you've been with bad or like the wrong choice or whatever. Everyone was, po- was perfect for the time being. And if this was a job, if this was a friendship, if this was a just any choice that you made for some period in your in your life, it it all serves a purpose, right? But it's almost like you've been there to see this is like I said, it's very clear to you what's genuine, what's authentic, and what you want. Why? Because you know what's not, you know what's inauthentic, you know what's out of balance, you know what you don't want. That has become crystal clear. And so now you're moving away from that and coming into what you actually do want. And for some of you, that's going to be a love relationship where you're finally sort of stepping into someone that is at your level, that is matching you and you have the right to ask for that. Like you don't have to sell yourself short, Pisces. Okay, that's not going to be for everyone, but I just felt that strongly. six so we are giving and receiving and it came out right next to the love there so we have I feel like and this is a little bit of a Libra influence it's like a very balanced very fair so this is this might even be like what whether it has been in a friendship whether it has been um in a romantic partnership, a business partnership, whether this has been at a, at a job, like you've been putting in so much of yourself, so many hours in like really investing in something. And I feel like you've been selling yourself short a little bit. Like you haven't really asked back what you deserve and what, what would be a balanced situation. Like you you're pouring yourself and your heart out to a situation and it's falling short from the other end. It's, it's almost like you're doing way too many hours at a job. And you're not getting, it's below your pay grade. It's not, you're not getting paid for what you're doing. Or it's like you've been in this friendship and you're the one who keeps giving and giving and giving. And you're not getting too much back. Like it's all about them and never about you. Or this has been a romantic partnership and you've been investing like your soul into this. Or it's even... It might even be that you're just at different levels and you're trying to sort of either dim your shine a little bit so that you match the other person or you're trying to actually change them a little bit like you had hopes for them to sort of come up a a little bit. And so like it's so much investment but not too much back. And now you're stepping into this beautiful love or a job that's fitting you or a friendship that's both like so whatever you're putting in, you're actually getting back. And that's so important. Like that's the exchange of energy. It doesn't matter what what currency it is. If the currency is just energy and then it, we're calling it money or we're calling it time or we're calling it compliments or like whatever. It's, it's the exchange of energy and you, it seems fair. It seems Libra-esque. We're coming into a very fair place where... Whatever you're sending out is now coming back. So it's going to be a balanced energy there. And you're going to start to feel really good about that. Because it probably has been like off balance wise. And that chips away at you. That's really draining. When you're giving too much that you don't receive back. Okay. We're going to end this reading to see. (laughs) We're going to end this reading. And see what Michael wants to add all good things for Pisces please there you go lean on God and the angels for support you don't have to do it all alone you don't have to go it yourself you don't have to like do everything yourself you don't have to be the one that keeps giving 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 you can at least as a start if it's if it feels weird in the beginning to all of a sudden start to lean on other people I know for sure I have this issue That it's a little bit tough to ask for help. It's a little bit tough to lean on people and and completely trust them because it makes you vulnerable, right? 
But this is like it's asking Pisces to at least like lean on God and the angels, lean on your support system in the ethers so that you can start to practice to sort of delegate what you need help with, if that makes sense. And send, uh, and send, <laughs> oh, Swedish. And then um, start to sort of replace the non physical with the physical, to actually ask other people for help, to lean on other people, to support you, to delegate certain things. I just feel that the delegating of things, like you don't have to keep doing things yourself. And there's a prayer to this. Dear God and angels, I give you this and whatever situation it is, now and completely, I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. Yeah, it's time to get back. I mean, it's time to receive. And you're stepping into Treasure Island and you're coming into relationships right now that are being balanced. Like whatever you're putting out is also coming in. And it's a little bit of a practice for you, Pisces, as well, to then allow what wants to come back, right? Okay, that's what I have for you, beautiful Pisces. And now, if you liked it, please, please give it a thumbs up. And consider to subscribe. Like I said, it really helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.